We're back here, TKDS Sports Network, Rumble in the Hills, day number two. As we're back now to the final heat of the day, and we will start with the one liter mods and the 2.5 stocks. We have six eligible racers for this one. Number 40, Scott Mellowick. Number 52, Sean Bowser. Number two, Chris Ritz. Number 80, Keith McMullen. Number 49, Jeff Dobis. And number 13, William Bennett. We will wait and confirm and see how many boats are out on the water. We see two right now. Make it three. Make it four. Make it five. Five of the six boats are out on the water. Could be the largest race we have had all weekend long. Checking in now as they come through the start finish line. Looks like Chris Ritz once again in the orange. He has been the man to beat so far today. Second, Sean Bowser. Jeff Dobis is also out there. He was the man to beat yesterday. So Bowser, Ritz, and Dobis have all checked in. I believe we will also see Keith McMullen and Scott and Mellowick. All five of them out on the water. We will have our five minute practice. Before we head into the actual race. It's been a fun weekend here. All the racers out on the water. We are missing William Bennett, just like we were in the first heat today. Still plenty of time. White flag has not been waved, which means it's one minute to race time. Flying out on the water. White flag is waved. That means all the racers now should be timing. Everything up. All the racers coming right back around. Trying to time up the jump. Coming back around the third turn, all of them bunched up. It looks like Sean Palger is the lone man out. He is going to have a j late start. Three, two, one. Green flag waved, and once again, it's Chris Ritz out in front. Here we go. Ritz followed by Dobis. Followed then by Mellowick, and then there goes number 13. That is Bennett. So Bennett is out there. 
Coming in last, who will have the late start, will be Sean Bowser. So we believe that it might be Keith McMullen who is not out there. Flying through, there goes Bowser. Bowser will finally get his race started as he crosses the start finish line. And in the meantime, Chris Ritz has opened up a huge lead. Mellowick, Bennett, and Dovis are all bunched up for second, third, and fourth. Ritz, the lone man, in first. Oh, Cross, he's on now to lap two. Rounding third and heading for home. Here come Melowick is in second. Dobis is in third. He's fighting right now closely with Bennett. Bennett coming through the straightaway with some speed, getting some air under this boat. Cruising right back around. Chris Ritz, the lone man, way out in front. About a quarter of a track lead on Mellowick, who sits at second. Most entertaining battle right now is between third and fourth with Dovis and Bennett. Bowser finally crosses. He's completed his first lap. Ritz will have a decent chance to catch up to Bowser and possibly lap him. Here comes Ritz. Ritz is on to lap number three. Rounding around, here comes Mellowick. Mellowick all alone for second place. He will now enter lap number three. And now fighting for third and fourth is Dobis and Bennett. Two with a two and a half stocks. They're neck and neck. Here's Dobis. Dobis comes right through, right behind him. There goes Bennett. Bennett making some good ground. Dobis does have inside leverage. That's the lane he chose. Back around, Ritz flying around the third turn already. Bowser will cross, now he is now on the lap number three. He's made some good headway coming back and he might have a chance by the end to catch up towards Bennett and Dobis. There goes Ritz, Ritz all alone. He might have a chance of passing. Ritz around the second turn. He's all alone. This one should easily belong to him. Coming in second is Mellowick. He's all alone as well. Fighting for third and fourth. Here come Dobis and Bennett. The two, two and a half stocks in this race. Dobis once again with about the same lead he's had on Bennett all day. Bennett trying to gain ground. Dobis with the inside leverage. Able to take control of it once again. Ritz flying all the way back around. He will not be able to catch up to Bowser. Bowser now in lap four, and here we go. Ritz will take it. Ritz will take it once again the second time today. Bowser around the second turn, trying to find a way to catch up to Dobis and Bennett. In the meantime, Dobis has opened up his third-place lead to Bennett, who sits in fourth. Coming in second uncontested will be Mellowick. And now here comes the battle for third and fourth place. Once again, it is Dobis and Bennett. They've been neck and neck this entire race. Here they come. Dobis trying to find that gear on the straightaway. He will. He'll cruise in to third place. Bennett will finish fourth and coming in last. Be Sean Bowser after a late jump. And that'll do it. So once again, Chris Ritz, then Mellowick comes in second, Dobis finishes third, Bennett fourth, and Bowser will finish fifth. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up, I do believe we're going to